Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and I'm here with another look. Honestly, sis, I feel cute. I feel so cute and like girly, like this pink and springy moment. I was inspired by two things. I was inspired by the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I was also inspired by my background because as you can see, it's really florally and springy and ease. But I really was inspired by all the floralness, by the springtime, um, given the girls' looks. Given the girls' looks, and I mean, if you think I'm doing any different, but I'm, I'm giving the girls' looks, pretty much. A nice, like, spring look, like, I'm obsessed with this look. Like, that's why I can't stop looking at my viewfinder. But anyway, if you guys want to see how I got this cute little spring look, then you can go ahead and keep on watching the video. Oh, oh gosh, let me not move my camera. Okay, so as you all can see, I have primed my eyes. I've done my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera. I don't know how this look is going to go because I have a vision of how it, how I want it to go in my head. That don't mean it's going to happen. So today I'm going to be using the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to start off with that yellow shade right there um let me grab a brush that's not so obviously dirty so with that I'm gonna start on the inner corner inner parts of my eyes because like as you can see there's no yellow in my background but I want to use the yellow it's more inspired by like flowers and stuff like that you know that that's really what the purpose is so I'm gonna go ahead and put that and pack that on the inner part of my eye. Now that that color is set, I'm going to go ahead and take the orange shade that is right next to it and following suit i'm going to place that on the center of my crease so just how i applied that yellow on the inner third of my crease i'm going to apply this directly into the center you also want to make sure that as you're applying the color you're also slightly blending it into that yellow as well Now, finally, I don't want to use this type of brush. Now I'm going to move on to that pink shade, that shade right on in there, that nice little pinky, pinky pink shade. And I'm putting that on the outer, uh, on the outer thirds and in the uh, outer V of my crease. So outer thirds and the outer V of my crease. Ooh, that's... That's a lot. She pigmented. Now that I have that, I'm gonna take a brush that has absolutely nothing on it because this seems a little a little harsh at the top. And I'm gonna attempt to blend these colors at the top and hopefully it just it you know it looks good. Like I'm very worried about these colors mixing, but hopefully they don't. So I'm like trying to be very careful because I don't want like the orange to bleed into the yellow or the yellow to bleed well really mainly the orange to bleed into the yellow. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at her. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly cut my crease because that's, yeah, that's the vibe that I'm going for. So, oh, excuse me as I, you know, recess into myself trying to cut my crease.
So because this palette doesn't have any type of like matte neutral shades like that, I'm actually gonna go into this Tartlet palette. Um, but I don't know, I'm choosing one of the matte shades out of here. I think I'm gonna go Sweetheart. I'm gonna choose the shade Sweetheart. I don't, it's not doing enough for me. It's, hmm, what if I decided to put a shimmer on there? I think I'm doing it. I'm gonna apply the shade Funny Girl. Is that what it is? Funny Girl on top of it. See if it gives me that extra oomph that I'm looking for. Okay, boom, boom, loving it. So off camera, because I can't do this for the life of me on camera, I'm gonna apply a green liner, you know, green, gonna represent the green back there. Um, but I'm gonna put on this green liner and I'm gonna apply lashes off camera just because I can't do it. I just, I cannot, I cannot. Okay, so I, finished the eyes and I've put on a little bit of that green line. I'm gonna take this NYX Honey Do Me Up primer and I'm gonna apply it all over the skin just because I feel like my skin has been feeling not oily recently but a little but a little dry. So I just want a little a little bit of moisture. I'm gonna take the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the shade Kuka, um, and using a sponge, I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Really not doing anything special here. I literally on a whim was like, let's use this foundation. I forgot how much I actually like this foundation. For concealer, where'd it go? I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty uh, Overachiever Concealer. And then because since this is such a thick concealer that sets very quickly, um, I'm gonna make sure to have my powder ready and I'm using the Laura Mercy A Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Is that the shade? I think that's the shade. So I had turned off my camera because my dad had called and then I forgot to turn it back on as I was doing the rest of my um, eyes and stuff. Uh, so pretty much I just finished applying the powder to my concealer, powdered the rest of my face, did the same combination in my crease on my lower lash line, 
yada 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 let's move forward so now i'm gonna use this rimmel maxi blush it's in the shade rendezvous and i actually been obsessed with it recently so i'm gonna apply that to my cheeks And to really and to really keep along with this sort of pink theme, I'm gonna go into my Wet n Wild highlighter. Um, it's one of their highlighting powders. Uh, it's in Bloom Time. Fitting. Um, not anything special or new here. Just applying highlighter. How I always apply highlighter. Now moving on to lips. I wanna keep in this pink themed, pink realm that I have here. So I'm going to do, I wanna do like a nude pink, but I think I still want my lips to be glossy, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna take this Black Radiance HD Lip Sculptor because I just think it'll be perfect. It's in the shade Slay Queen. I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. Mm. Scratch that on it being perfect. I think it's it's very pink. Hmm. I'm gonna go the MAC lipstick in Persistence. Oh, I like that a lot more. I like that better. But on top of it, I'm going to, well, mainly only like outer portions, I'm gonna apply the shade Photo. Liking how that looks a lot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray down my face, change my clothes, and uh, I'll be right back. And that is all. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and especially hit that subscribe button. And remember when we comment, we want to bring people up and not bring people down. All right, bye guys.